Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's presentation sponsored by the Society of Decision Professionals, which is entitled Clarifying Trade-Offs Using Simple Decision Trees. I'd like to introduce you to our featured speaker, Aaron Lacey. Aaron is a Decision Analysis Advisor at Chevron, supporting projects in both Angola and Deepwater, Mexico. And uh, I wanted to share, uh, you know, as Brig mentioned, I received my PhD at Stanford University and I joined Chevron in January 2014. And I gave sort of the first version of this presentation to a group of decision professionals here in Houston. Uh, and I wanted to share with them sort of how did I impact uh, decision quality, organizational decision quality at Chevron. And a unifying feature I found as I was developing my thoughts was clarifying trade-offs using simple decision trees. So I hope in this presentation you see today uh, how really showing simple trees and utilizing them effectively can clarify many conversations. And I've found them to be uh, extremely impactful here at Chevron. So today's agenda, I'll start with some key messages, and then I'll describe you to the methodology. Why, why do I think simple decision trees are such an effective way to build organizational decision quality? And I will then show that, demonstrate the effectiveness of the trees through three examples and share some insights I got um, from them. And the three examples I'll be discussing are emergency shutdown of a platform, um, installing a, a power cable, and scheduling drill ships. And although these are all oil and gas focused, I'll keep them at a pretty high level and provide some background. So I think uh, everybody will be able to see the types of insights I'm describing. And, and uh, the fact that there are three examples and they were based on some real work is the reason I uh, provide the disclaimer. I've, I've sanitized them and made them extremely high level. Um, but I think even at that level, there's a lot to be learned. Um, I do encourage questions throughout the presentation um, Ellen will be moderating, and so I'd love to hear some throughout the presentation. I'll stop a few times uh, to ask as well. So please do send those in to Ellen, but at the end we'll have some dedicated time for Q&A and discussion, and, and I'd love to get those questions then as well. So here are my key messages today. 